Hey everybody, welcome to uh, WW News tonight. Uh, tonight, the start of the show is going to be a little different. You probably heard uh, by now that we uh, lost a member of the WWNT family. Uh, we're having a problem. Oh, the TV's on. Great. We're doing great. <laughs> the TV's echoing into here, just so you guys are aware. Great. Josh is laughing somewhere right now. It's fine. Uh, so we lost a member of the WDWNT family a couple days ago, our good friend Josh from EasyWDW.com. Um, so we want to take a couple minutes here at the top of the show uh, to talk about Josh. Uh, of course, Josh has been on this show a hundred times, and uh, it's funny that this is March Madness uh, starting tonight because I was a uh, thing Josh was a big part of. But Josh was a big part of not just our shows, it was a big part of our lives. Uh, myself in particular, Josh and I... Uh, do you want to fix that TV now? Is it this yeah, yeah. The, the only TV on the set. Yeah. We're doing great. <laughs> live, live show. Josh Fun of a live show. Right Josh, would be, Josh would be heckling me right now. Yeah, he's like, good job. You've only been doing this for six years. It's not like you guys rehearsed this before. Yeah, yeah. So obviously uh, we lost Josh this week and uh, Josh was a big part of uh, not only you know, our on-air life, but uh, personal life. Josh and I um, became really close after I, uh, um, you know, I was engaged at one point and then wasn't. And uh, I, I remember my mother asking, are you gonna go home now? Like, is there anything for you here? And I, I think a big reason why I stayed was Josh. I, I actually had friends here and uh, friends that shared interests and we could go do things. And I was like, ah, oh, yeah, things, Things seem like they're going to be all right. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to stay here in Florida. So I mean, honestly, if it wasn't for Josh, I don't know that we'd uh, be in this room right now. I don't know that this studio would be here. I don't know that I'd be here. So personally and professionally, I owe uh, a lot of everything <laughs> to Josh. So it's funny we brought up the heckling thing. Um, the fun Josh story is uh, you may remember. I don't remember what episode it was, but it, but, but a couple months ago, uh, we were doing the monologue, and Nick uh, playfully Josh started to heckle Nick. The whole show. On the air. I was was it the whole show? Well, I was also pitching, I think, attraction ideas or something like that. Oh, okay. I think it was something I was pitching and drawing on. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this, uh, he was heckling me from the audience. I mean, I knew it was out of, you know, just being funny, just being Josh. But, um, you know, very... You know, it's it just very touching. Like a couple of weeks later, he showed up with a bunch of presents for me. Like he felt bad about <laughs> it. He got me this like Star Wars role playing board game and uh, this uh, like dark saber lamp because he knew I like Star Wars. I feel like you're underselling it. Like he bought well, you. He did. It was a several lot of hundred stuff. dollars it was a in lot gifts of stuff. because he they heckled expensive. you on the show and felt it bad about it. It was very expensive and a lot of stuff. And I mean, it was. It was weird because, like, I always saw Josh as this guy who just, like, you know, made jokes about things. And, and I, I, I took it for what it was. I mean, it's not like I ever took offense to any of that. That was Josh. And, no. but, but giving me those gifts, that was also Josh. I mean, he was this really sweet guy who was really great to talk to, you know? No. Like, and, and I, I, I mean, I wish I got as close to him as, as you did. I mean, I, I never did. Um, yeah. But no, those I, brief moments at every restaurant review. Oh. Yeah. I mean, every, yeah. I mean, every time hanging out with him was, was memorable. It really was. My favorite was always when we had new staff members and I would invite them to those, those new restaurant reviews. <laughs> and I'd be like, how, how are people going to no. react to Josh? Because no one ever knew if he no. was joking you or not don't. at first. You have no idea. And then once you're in on it, once you understood that he was joking with you, then it was, it was amazing. But, but that was the appeal. Um, I loved reading his reviews because yeah. it was just, you, even, in his, like, even in his writing, there was that sarcasm oh, yeah. where like, yeah. I had no idea if, if it was real or not, but yeah. I didn't care because it was entertaining, and and that was, yeah, that was. If that you want really to, if you want to honor Josh, there's one thing I recommend you read. There's a review of a pizza burger. Oh um, it was at Cosmic Rays Starlight Cafe. I don't think the thing lasted very long because it was, was awful. But the review, yeah. I've read it like six times <laughs> before, is my favorite thing. It is really, if you've not, if you're not familiar with Josh's stuff, go to Easy WW, check it out. But Josh, as a person, beyond. I don't have to tell you how funny he was. Like, yeah. uh, the, it, it's kind of sacrilegious that this group of people has a comedy show because Josh was funnier than 
all of us put together, <laughs> but. Um, the 10th dragon. The 10th dragon, yeah, Josh the 10th dragon, yeah. Um, but Josh was uh, the most caring, the absolute most, most selfless person I've ever met. Like literally only cared about other people. Like that was the, the one thing I could say. And I, I don't say that just because he's gone. Yeah. Like, even before that I would tell people. Yeah like absolutely selfless person. All Josh ever wanted was out of the site was, it wasn't money or fame, it was really, he got such joy out of people telling him that he made their trips better. Like that's what Josh was out there for. I mean, we, we talk about consumer advocacy. I don't think uh, there's ever been anyone as far as the Disney parks are concerned that's ever done for consumers what Josh did. I think he really helped thousands and thousands and thousands of people have a better trip um, and, uh, you know, and, and I will say this, like, it doesn't matter what algorithm, you know, app, um, whatever was out there, no one did a better touring plan than Josh. <laughs> there was no one yeah. with any degree or books or whatever that touched Josh in that department. No one could ever dream to. So, um, yeah. So obviously, uh, we're going to be paying tribute to Josh in a lot of ways in the coming weeks. We are going to be doing a charity benefit show in his honor. There will be details down the road, obviously. Um, you know, we'll get back to you in the next couple days with that information. But for the time being, we obviously wanted to honor him on a show he was such a big part of. Josh was always willing to give up his whole Thursday night um, to come do this show, and, and not just Thursday night. I know going back to the radio show, um, Josh would take that hour and a half drive with me out to a Apopka <laughs> Yeah. And sit there and we'd go through all the, the flower and garden or food and wine festival reviews. And mm -hmm. um, uh, Josh was a, was a great friend, a great part of the show, and, and we'll miss him. And Josh, wherever you are, uh, I love you deeply and I'm going to miss you a lot. And uh, I think I speak, obviously, if you saw what everyone said on Twitter and Facebook and beyond, like uh, a lot of people are going to miss Josh. So uh, thank you, Josh. We love you. And uh, we remember you. to get kicked off of four podcasts and uh, what do you do? Good night and good luck. <laughs> 